Member for Madam Bankstown, Speaker, don't do that. My question is to the Premier. Premier, schools in my electorate are losing a combined total of almost $19 million in federal and state government funding. Which member has the right to be heard in silence. Do not shout while the member is asking a question. No. no. We'll just wait. We'll just wait, member for Orange. I'm asking Governor Benches not to interject while the member oh, is answering cheap, a, asking a question. That was really cheap, Adrian. Member for Lakemba. Madam Speaker. Member for Lakemba, all I heard was your bellowing voice, yeah. not he his. Knows, he knows what he said, Madam Speaker. Was member for Lakemba. Sorry. I only heard you. Okay. I'm sorry. And now I'm asking Governor Benches to come to order. The member has the right to be heard in silence while he asks the question. Whatever you think of the question. It's not your business, it's my business, and it's his business. Member, Thank you. ask the question Thank now. You, Madam You'll Speaker. be heard in silence. Thank you. Premier, schools in my electorate are losing a combined total of almost $19 million in federal and state government funding, which equates to about $330 from every voter in my electorate. Premier, when will your government, sorry, will your government immediately cover this $19 million shortfall, which is essential to keep the schools in my electorate running? And to provide the best possible learning outcomes for our children. Thank you. Call the Premier. Um, uh, Madam Speaker. Order. We don't need to start arguing with the member as he's returning to his seat. He would have, but they dumped member for Blacktown, you're on two calls now. Now uh, I'm Madam sick of Speaker, it. I um, acknowledge the question asked by the member for Orange and, and say to him, I know he hasn't been a member in this place for as long as others. Um, member for Strathfield, you're on I three just, calls. I just want to remind him. I just want to remind him that uh, the first government to sign up to Gonski was the New South Wales government. Yeah, right. And uh, we're extremely proud of that. We're also, Do not argue. We're also, and if he, if he cares to take the time to compare how much we're putting into education compared to those opposite, he would see. He would see uh, I hear a what from those opposite. I'm happy to give up the figure, Madam Speaker. I'm happy to give up the figure uh, compared to when you left office and how much you were spending in education compared to how much we are. I'm sure that the figure will arrive if I can't. Oh, here we go. I got it. Here we go. Um, so, Labor's, Labor's uh, last operating budget in education was uh, $10.5 billion. Member for Prospect. Our last operating budget in education was $13.7 billion. <laughs> and that doesn't include the fact. You may not want to hear this, but you will not interject, some of you. And, Madam Speaker, and Madam Speaker, that's just that's just OPEX. We know the shadow treasurer doesn't know the difference between OPEX and OPEX and CAPEX. But in relation to CAPEX, um, in 16-17 we increased the education budget by 37 per cent, Madam Speaker. And that's, and that's before you factor in other boosts we've given since last year's budget, Madam Speaker. But I say to uh, the member for Orange, uh, this side of the House has demonstrated time and time again our commitment to education. We'll continue to demonstrate that. And I also want to assure. Mm. Yeah. Order. And uh, and I ask him to look at his own party's record in relation to what the decisions we've had to take to bring the budget back into the black, uh, in relation to asset recycling, in relation to fiscal discipline, in relation to record spending on infrastructure, record spending in services. And Madam Speaker, I have to say that uh, last week. Tooley, when was I in Bathurst? Tooley. Tooley. Yeah, okay. So I was in Bathurst um, recently with the, um, obviously with the great local member, and we met with um, about 200 odd local uh, people from the Central West. And Madam Speaker, they were extremely positive about the government, I have to say, on the main. Very positive. And uh, they made some predictions about the seat of Orange, which I won't declare today. But I will say that time and time again, Madam Speaker, our government will continue to deliver for the people of this great state, whether it's education, whether it's health, whether it's uh, roads, whether it's uh, public transport. Can he be heard in silence? No, of course. We'll just wait for the
the Labor Party members to now. Could not, could you continue to disrupt the member? Member for Fairfield. Yes, member, point of order. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I've, I've patiently listened to the Premier talk for three minutes, yes. and she hasn't on one occasion order. made any reference the to the issue of, of Orange. One, two, nine is a point of order. Yeah. There's been no relevance to the question of the fact and issue, which was specific to Orange. For okay. three minutes. Thank you. Point is taken, but the Premier has been relevant to and the question Madam you Speaker, asked. Madam Speaker, I've been no advised by the Minister for Education, and he will correct me if I've understood incorrectly, but essentially the seat of Orange is getting about $3 million extra because of our commitment to ah. Barnsley. Next year. So, so you can tell your constituents that because of our hard work, they're getting an extra $3 million in education, Madam Speaker.